I said it earlier, but I'm going to say it again. You are the hardest working man I know. I witness day in and day out your dedication, sacrifice, and just respect to the game every single day. Um, I want you to take this moment, stay present in it. Okay, you deserve this. You worked for it. Yeah, I mean, you did that shit. <laughs> About my, my wife and my friends and my family, they they know um, they know I don't take um, the things that I've accomplished and, and really like appreciate the shit I've done. Um, because for me, everything that I do is for for them, and um, I get lost a lot. Um, appreciate some of the wins that I have for myself because it's never about me. Um, and I wouldn't be able to do it without the likes of my wife, my kids, and my mom. My homies is here, my brothers is here, my friends, my associates is here. Um, because no one man or no woman can accomplish what they do in life by walking a journey alone. Y'all don't know how many times I've came in here. It's sad depressed are these niggas really finna do the fucking lawn while I'm trying to do my LeBron video at 8 in the morning wow it's fucking my niggas too <laughs> why is this nigga here at 8 in the morning when I'm trying to make my fucking LeBron Oh my god, I was just gonna start crying and shit. <laughs> nah, but for real, man, y'all don't know how many times I came in here sad, depressed, wanting to give up, felt like giving up, man. I be looking at LeBron and I'm just like, I can't give up. Like, I just look at LeBron and I just, man, I don't even like a lot of people. Like, I don't really even fuck with anybody. I don't have any idols. I don't really look up to nobody. But I really do fuck with LeBron. Like LeBron is like damn near the perfect person. He's a perfect person. Like I think about a lot of the times I think about who will be remembered 200 years from now. Cause it's easy to be remembered 100 years. A lot of people is gonna be remembered for 100 years. But when you start talking about 200 and 300, then it starts getting more, the list gets shorter. And I just think about LeBron and I don't know, I could be wrong, but I just feel like LeBron is, He's just gonna be around for a long, 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 long time, man. Fuck, he just makes me wanna work hard. Like, I wish I could work as hard as LeBron. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wish I could lock in every day and reach all of my dreams and work as hard as LeBron. Like, I be, I be trying. I be trying, man, I don't know, but I just, I just want to give a shout out to him, man. You know, because out of everything that he does, I think the made the most important, the most impactful thing that he does, man, is he just inspires so many people, man, to just work harder. He just inspires us to work harder, man, to want more, to dream bigger. And I just love him for that shit. Anyways, let's get it going. Third quarter, LeBron James, a shot in history, and LeBron stands alone! The NBA's all-time scoring record now belongs to LeBron James! I'm gonna try not to hate on Kareem too much, because I made this video last week hating on Kareem, and it didn't do that well. <laughs> So I'm gonna try not to hate on Kareem too much in this video, but I would like to point out that it took Kareem 42 years to hit 38,000 points and it took the glitchiest layup of all time. LeBron did it in 38 years with no glitchy moves. I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> but I'm gonna try not to hate on Kareem too much. I'm gonna try not to hate on him too much. I see some niggas acting like LeBron couldn't get 36 in one game. Y'all must not know who he is. As soon as I seen the little pregame fit, I ain't even need to see nothing else. Once I seen the pregame fit, I'm like, oh yeah, he going for it. 
he going for? I need to see his kids core side. I need to see his wife core side. All I need to see was the, the, the pregame fit. The pregame fit to tell it all. I knew he was going, you know what I mean? I knew by the pregame fit that it was, it was, it was go time. <laughs> I really should have been at that shit. I told y'all it was going to be the Thunder game. Fuck! I really wanted to sit court side. I didn't want to sit in the first row back, but fuck. The them court size was like 14 bands. I was looking at them bitches. The cheapest one was 14 bands. I was like, man, <laughs> fuck. And then the first row back was like, I want to say 2,000. I wanted the court side though. But I didn't want to pay the 14 bands. That nigga Kareem looked mad the entire time, but I'ma leave it alone. Like I said, I don't want to hate on Kareem, because when I hate on Kareem, y'all don't really like that. I think it's hilarious, but I'm not gonna, I could do a whole, listen, I could do a whole, I just want y'all to know that I could do a whole five minute rant hating on Kareem right now, easily. But I'm not gonna do that, because y'all don't like that, so I'ma keep it positive. <laughs> But that nigga Kareem looked mad the entire night. Y'all ain't see how mad he looked? He's so angry. <laughs> they should have gave that nigga some sunglasses or something. <laughs> they should have gave him some glasses to hide the anger on his face. <laughs> that nigga was salty as can be. What you salty for, boy? You was doing a glitchy ass. You was doing a glitchy ass layup on plumbers. What the hell are you salty about? <laughs> Nah, I'm off that, 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 I'm done. I'm off that, I'm done hating on Kareem. I'm done hating on Kareem. I didn't know Rich Paul was dating Adele, that was news to me. I seen that for the first time at the Grammys. I'm like, oh, okay, he really just like me for <laughs> That's really twin for <laughs> He's really a, he's really a milk aficionado for <laughs> Nah, but bro, when we talk about being remembered for 200 years, you have to do something that is just so like it's hard. It's a very it's a very short list of people that I think will honestly get remembered for more than 200 years, and I would put LeBron on that list. I put Obama on the list because he's the first black president. It's a short list. You look at niggas like The Rock, who's got like 300 million followers. I don't know if they're going to remember Rock in 200 years. They certainly ain't going to remember me. But I think LeBron, man, I don't know if there's going to be. I, I don't think there's going to be anybody in the next 100 years that's going to be able to do what LeBron has done. Like, I think that all of us alive right now, this is the best basketball player you will see. In the last, for at least the next 80 years, right? He's been in the league for 20 years. I don't know if there's going to be anybody better for 80 years. We're going to see. It'll be interesting to see if there's anybody in my, alive, when I'm alive, that I honestly feel like is better than LeBron, but I don't know if that, I don't know if it's possible, man. That nigga's really the one. He's really the one. He's really the one. He's not the two at all. <laughs> he is not the two. He is really the one. <laughs> he finna make me cry again. Is joined by the legend who has held the all-time scoring record since 1984. The captain. Why the announcer sound like he crying? <laughs> to like <the> 84. <laughs> Hold on, let me let's get the speaker going for this one little part. has stood for nearly 40 years, which Kareem, many people thought, would never be broken. That took so much work, man. LeBron. So much work. You are the NBA's all-time scoring leader. So much work. Congratulations. So much work. <laughs> that nigga Kareem hate LeBron, but we gonna leave it alone. <laughs> Kareem is an old ass hater. That's like me. That's like if I was sitting around hating on a guy. Imagine, this nigga's a hater, but we gonna leave it alone though. I ain't gonna make a big deal about it. His little old hating ass. We gonna leave it alone though. <laughs> like, oh my God, I wish I would've made as much money as LeBron. I wish I could've. No, nigga, you, you wasn't this smart. 
You wasn't in school. You wasn't that boy, for real. But I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> my bad, y'all. That was too much. My bad. My bad. You think the guy? At least, at least. <laughs> hey, wait, why he drops? That nigga drops smiles. He dropped smile before I could even get it out. I was about to say at least Kareem management team told him like, yo, listen Kareem, I know you don't like LeBron, but you got to at least go up there and smile when they take the little uh, photo that's going to be remembered forever. Like, you got to at least smile for that, Kareem. Like, you're right, you're right, you're right. So I'm glad that he smiled for that, but why he dropped smile so quickly, that's hilarious. Let's <laughs> at least he smiled for that photo. He dropped that smile as soon as the camera stopped. Boy, he said, all right. All right, fuck this nigga. <laughs> hey, that's hate. <laughs> that's hate if I ever seen it before in my life. That's hilarious. LeBron. Imagine hating on LeBron. Y'all niggas some weirdos. <laughs> Imagine hating on a nigga that embodies hard work. Imagine hating on the dude that embodies getting up and working hard every day. <laughs> Y'all so goddamn weird, I swear. Y'all so goddamn weird. To be able to be in the presence of such a legend and great as Kareem, it, it means so much to me. It's very humbling. Um, please give a standing ovation to the to the captain, please. We'll stand up for the little hating ass nigga. Yeah, well, come on. We're gonna give it up for his little hating ass. To my beautiful wife, my daughter, my two boys, my friends, my boys, my family, my mother, all my, man, everybody that's ever been a part of this run with me the last 20 years, 20 plus years. He had his, he had his, he had his, he had his wife. Uh, of course I look at Rich and say, oh, you see when they did the little shot of his wife and his, and his mom, I was just looking at it like, damn, she look rich as a motherfucker. <laughs> He had her looking rich as hell. Thank you so much, because I wouldn't. All my niggas look rich as hell. All y'all passion, all y'all sacrifices helped me get to this point. And to the NBA, to Adam Silver, to the late great David Stern, I thank you guys so much for allowing me to be part of something I've always dreamed about. And um, I would never, ever, in a million years, uh, dreamt this even better than what it is tonight. So. Fuck, man. Thank you, guys. He let me get the F word off. I love it. You finna make me cry again, for real. Because niggas really be trying to... Oh, what a moment. Niggas really be wanting to be great. And LeBron be motivating people to be great. So that's why I love it, man. Because he just he just make me want to... He just make me want to try hard every day, man. Like, I know I'll never be as great as LeBron. But I'm trying. ...of how great... His career has been. There's only seven NBA players now within 10,000 points oh, of LeBron James. One of them being our own Shaquille O'Neal. Passing of the torch from 1984 to 2023. From one Laker to another, Kareem to LeBron. From Wilt to Kareem to LeBron in those Laker uniforms. Did that shit with no dad, the no money. All time. What's your excuse? Record holder. He did it with no dad. Corey Campbell, court side with Jay Z. Okay, Corey, I see you making moves. LeBron ain't gonna shake your hand, no, but I see, I see you making moves. <laughs> He needed only 26 minutes to get to 36. The embrace, Magic Johnson. And now we got a game to play. What's amazing to me, and we'll see how... I don't even really want to watch the game, for real. <laughs> Everybody's here for him. I don't even really... I ain't even going to watch it. Fuck it. I'm not watching it. I ain't watching it. <laughs> there you go. Belongs to Le LeBron James. And he's not done. He gonna stay in the league till his son play. Imagine if he put up 50 bands. If he put up 50 bands, he'd be the greatest nigga a lot. Please go for 50 bands. Please go for 50 bands. Please go for 50 bands. 
If he got 50 bands, oh my lord, please go for 50 bands. It's, I'm telling you, they not finna touch it. Imagine if he played till he's 42. Four more seasons, that's 50 bands. That's 50 bandanas. That's 50 bandanas. Anyways, um, a few days ago, I dropped my instructional DVD on everything that I know about YouTube, how to, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for, manipulate the YouTube algorithms, how to get your shit popping quick, because y'all know me, I had the little 2K channel, did that for a year, 300K niggas wasn't really fucking with me, how I thought they should be fucking with me, I called them my own idea. And we, and now here everybody is, you know what I'm saying? Well, some of y'all know that. But anyways, I talked through all of the different shit that I went through. And, you know, and I feel like I'm a good case because I didn't just have a bunch of positives. It's not just all a success story. I had a lot of negatives and things to slow me down. So I talked about all of that different type of shit that I learned about how to be successful on YouTube, positive, negative, social media, how I blew up on Twitter, Instagram, all of that different type of shit. And I even talked about Twitch and Facebook apps that I didn't blow up on, but because I know niggas that blew up on there and how much money they make and I... Sort of talk through that. So if you're interested in that, link in the description, oprahside.com. Go check that out. If you're not, or if you're content with what you're doing or whatever, then that's cool. I don't really give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I was just making that to try and help y'all because I always get a lot of messages about that type of shit. So I wanted to try and help you steer y'all in the right direction to go crazy on social media. But if you already got some life shit going or whatever, then that's cool. But anyways, um, that's going to do it for me. I'm going to probably watch this video on Patreon and we're going to watch the LeBron post game and a little bit more. But I think that this is really, I mean, I feel like I said everything I needed to say. I feel like I hated Uncle Kareem enough. I don't even really want to watch the game because we lost. Um, the Lakers versus Thunder. I watched the entire game live, obviously. It just wasn't that good of a game. They look like they didn't, any, everybody in the Lakers looked like they didn't even want to score. They looked like they just wanted to watch LeBron break the record. AD was looking slow. If I would have watched the game, I would have said, maybe it's time to think about trading AD, but I'm going to let the nigga live because today is not about AD. Today is about LeBron. But I didn't really like what I was seeing out of AD. He was looking real slow, slowing down the game pace, all that different type of shit. We might be, maybe it's time to trade a nigga. But we're going to leave that alone for now. We're going to talk about that in the next video. I hope you guys enjoy. This was really just about LeBron. And motivation you know what I'm saying and I just appreciate everything that LeBron does he makes me he makes me want more he makes me want more he makes me want to not give up like he motivates me to try and be as competitive and as successful as I can and like I said the really shit I said even though I'll never be as successful as him you know all I can do is at least try but anyways that's gonna do it for me man I'm out of here I hope you guys have a great day I hope you enjoyed the video smash the like button I love all you guys. I appreciate everything you guys do for me. Like I say all of the time, I ain't I ain't been recommended blackballed in years. So all of the money I've been making, all the views I've been pulling for years, I didn't even sat with YouTube analysts and broke it down. Like I have a ridiculously high return rate for existing subscribers. A lot of YouTubers, a good percentage of their views comes from new subscribers, but a majority, a large percentage of my views are coming from returning subscribers. So I would be literally nothing without y'all. Thank you guys so much. Till next time, it's been your boy. I'm out of here. Peace.